for the Prime Minister, flanked by his Home Secretary and the Met Police Commissioner, it was a sobering visit to London Bridge. His predecessors have had to deal with the aftermath of previous terrorist attacks. This, the first major terrorist incident in more than two years, and the first under Boris Johnson's watch. One of the two people who died has been named as Cambridge University graduate Jack Merritt. Mr Merritt was a course coordinator at Learning Together, which held the prison rehabilitation conference attended by the attacker on Friday afternoon. That attack began inside the venue before spilling out onto London Bridge. In the chaos and confusion, members of the public put their own lives at risk to confront the armed attacker. We saw some wonderful examples of professionalism, of quick thinking and, of course, of compassion. And it's a terrible thing that people found themselves in that position, but as we saw the worst of humankind, we also saw the very best uh, of human spirit and of London. The attacker was 28-year-old Usman Khan, a convicted terrorist who plotted with eight others to carry out al-Qaeda-linked attacks on targets including the London Stock Exchange. He was jailed for those offences but released from prison last December and fitted with a GPS-enabled electronic tag, still considered a risk to the public. This was Khan, interviewed in 2010 at the end of a police investigation into him and others. He spoke then of a deep mistrust of the authorities. Now I know I can never ever trust them. Never ever. I didn't trust them then anyway. You know I mean? But now they've showed the hatred. They've showed how much they can hate you. There are legitimate questions still to be answered. Was Usman Khan released from prison too early? Was he properly monitored? But for now, the focus for investigators here is on the wider threat. Are there other people out there who knew what this man was planning? Detectives have spent the day searching Usman Khan's home in Stafford as they pieced together his activities in recent months. They've removed electronic devices and other items for forensic examination. We found no evidence, no evidence to suggest anybody else was involved in this attack. However, we're still making extensive inquiries to ensure that no one else was involved. Usman Khan was an associate of the extremist Anjum Chowdhury. As a member of a group affiliated to Chowdhury's banned al muhajirun organisation, he attended rallies and protests in the Midlands. I think we need an urgent risk assessment. Uh, remember, Usman was one of nine individuals who uh, uh, was committed and found guilty of plotting to blow up iconic sites. You know, what is happening to those other individuals? They're, they're out and about. Uh, how are they being monitored? Are we confident that they are being monitored effectively? At the scene of the attack, the area remains sealed off. The capital's mayor praised the spirit and resolve of Londoners, who he said were determined to get back to normal life as quickly as possible. Borough Market is heaving. Uh, bars and restaurants are hus full of people enjoying uh, the food and enjoying the sights and sounds of our city. And it's really important we don't allow this terrorist to stop us from enjoying the next few weeks in the lead up to uh, Christmas. As people begin the sadly all too familiar process of paying their respects at the scene, the Queen has sent a message expressing her sadness and praising the bravery of those members of the public who rushed forward in the face of great danger to disarm the attacker. Mark White, Sky News. Well, let's just remind you of the key events as they unfolded yesterday. The attack began at Fishmongers Hall, where a Cambridge University-backed conference on prison education was taking place. Police say that Khan left the building and headed to London Bridge. That's where he was when they were called at 1.58pm to reports of a stabbing. A number of videos on social media show Khan being wrestled to the ground by a group of bystanders and confronted by police at 2.03 p.m. He was shot and killed. He had a hoax explosive device strapped to his chest.
Sky News has seen video of a person receiving CPR close by at Monument. And while this was happening, people were evacuated from Borough Market on the south side of London Bridge. A wide police cordon is now in place on both sides of the River Thames. Officers at the Met Police Counter-Terrorism Unit are leading the investigation.